Hey, welcome back to Catch It, Cook It, and Eat It. I am your fishy host, Ben Sargent, and I'm here today with Sean Dimon from Sea to Table. You guys are a business which partners with local fishermen from sustainable wild fisheries, and you find better markets for their catch. That's essentially what you do, right? Well said, Ben. <laughs> Thank you. I took that off your website. <laughs> <laughs> he had a... a- great idea that if mm. you could hook up these fishermen right. who are catching fish with no external markets right. and we could get that fish up to the New York City, our hometown, just give it to chefs, there'd be a win-win. The fisherman would get more money for his fish and the chef would get a fish beautifully caught out of the Caribbean, fresh one day old. So we're talking not the kinds of fishing boats we associate with like oh, big trawlers and Cape Cod and oh those kinds of things. These guys bring in 100 pound <laughs> yellowfin tuna hand over hand. Right. So hook and line and retrieving the fish, fighting it with his bare hands. It's awesome. These guys are beasts. Right. You can get them spiny lobsters. You can get them like all kinds of sort of rarer, stranger, uglier, weirder fish, which to a chef it makes his day sometimes. A new species that makes a business fun i think it also takes a good chef it takes a confident chef to be like yeah well, give me give me what you got i'll make it good yeah those are my favorite guys <laughs> they're like don't even tell me what you're sending send the send whatever's the freshest send right. whatever's the best i mean sometimes the, the the fish travels the weirdest way it goes like to boston and then strangely it comes to new york and then some guy has to buy it in new york and then it, you know so sometimes there's like four or five pairs of hands involved we try to make a direct connection between the fisherman and the chef right go out and right. target these lion right. fish eradicate them for the reefs yeah. provide a chef with a great story a great product yep. a diner with a, a feel-good fish to eat mm-hmm. and uh, a win-win-win for everyone first off his name's captain ron uh-huh. like, i was expecting good things yeah and he says sean you like tequila <laughs> we're not a full line distributor he's gonna have a few other purveyors that get him his right i don't know his calamar so he won't be stuck stuck no, no, okay. no. He's got. It. I'm right. I'm not going to pretend I'm his only girlfriend. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I heard this term when I was in Sitka one time. It's called fish pimp. Yeah. Guys who come in and buy all the fish. I was like, ooh, wow, I'm a fish pimp. You're a pusher. You're yeah. a fish pusher. They're like, no, you don't buy nearly enough fish to be a fish pimp, buddy. <laughs> everybody down there goes by a nickname. No, I, I hardly know everybody's right. given names. All right. So, uh, rat face, double D, chub mouth, knights, iron, toughy, uh, <laughs> scorpion, lion. Like these are these guys. Uh, by by midnight. Or so you have we to were, earn that, don't you? We had downed quite a few bottles of tequila. <laughs> we had been going skinny dipping. We had gone to the strip <laughs> with club with the captain, huh? With the captain. <laughs> and uh, by six a.m., yeah. we were on the boat working. And uh, you know, we didn't we didn't miss a blink. So he's got me by the pinky. At which point, I just come back from the beach. At which point, my towel drops. So I'm now naked in the front yard, <laughs> running around. <laughs> Stupid crab that I'm shaking and it will not let go. Oh. And and. <laughs> It's so embarrassing, but family members had to get involved, and we actually had to break the claw off because he oh I couldn't God. pry him off. Was- Is that why they still call you Little Ben to this day? <laughs> <laughs> it was my finger, damn it. <laughs>